So I already know some of y'all are here just for me, just, just to hear me out because I know a lot of y'all are not interested in what we're talking about today. So just know that I truly appreciate y'all for being here with me today. Just indulge me today. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for what's supposed to be mimosas and makeup. And I, January is done and I just, I'm, I'm just keeping it going. I might have some wine or something when uh, this video goes up. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So it's whatever you're drinking and makeup today. If you've been with me from the earlier days, you will know that I really, really liked KKW Beauty. <laughs> I really did. It's actually one of the first makeup brands I like really tried. So today we are trying some lipsticks from Skin by Kim. And if you're down to watch that, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I, I'm doing fine. I'm, you know, we just hanging in there in the game of life. And um, I'm, I'm gonna be doing more than hanging in there though. You know, that's the goal. We're not trying to just hang in there, you know, but we're working on that. Anyway, let me know how you are doing. How are you feeling in the comment section or the chat, whichever you prefer. And let's get into it. Kimberly, as I would say on uh, my Saturday video, so as I was saying before uh, the little intro, this is like the second brand I tried after ColourPop. Like I was really heavy into ColourPop and then it was KKW Beauty. And I had the palettes, I had lipsticks. I was like, this is just great. And she had a nice long run. And Kim Kardashian's makeup look is, is pretty natural, really, uh, minimalistic so it was just her vibe and I just thought it was really cool I really liked her products and you know since then I can look back and you know I'll talk about the lipsticks what I didn't like about them because I did declutter uh, the lipsticks and uh, gave away most of my things I'll show you what I have here so this is also gonna be kind of like a do we still love her with some of the remaining products that I have anyway of course when skin by Kim was going to relaunch i wanted to try it and you know she launched a collection of an eyeshadow palette and then she had 10 of her lipsticks and 15 liners so let's just get into some details about that and i'll put up some uh, footage you'll see me open in this packaging which i just felt like and this came from her site i mean it was just so I don't wanna say raggedy, but like, I, girl, I did not need this little printout. I did not need that. The packaging, you'll see all of that. It, that's fine, everything else is fine. But I just thought this was just, it felt really cheap. That's what I'll say. And I didn't pay cheap prices. So starting with the soft matte lipstick, the lipsticks are $32. A full coverage soft matte lipstick that effortlessly melts into lips, delivering velvety smooth full impact pigment and a blurred airbrush finish. Its sleek bullet shape provides precise and even application to flawlessly defined lips without bleeding or feathering. This formula hydrates lips for up to eight hours, offering a smooth application, airbrush finish, and an instantly moisturized feel. Available in 10 classic nudes ranging from light to deep, these shades complement our lip liner. I'm not seeing an expiration date on these, so I'm gonna have to find, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Well, the lip liners, it says, 18 months so maybe these are the same i'm not i'm not sure about that so i'll try to find that information out i wanted to pick a lipstick from each section of her uh shade range so i picked a light nude a medium nude and then a deep nude shade 
So I did nude 03, nude 06, and nude 08. Now I know some of the shades are sold out right now, and I know nude 03 is one of them, but I think the other ones that I'm going to show you today are still in stock. So another look at the component. This is nude 03 and it is described as a neutral pink nude. I don't smell any type of uh, scent. So this is nude 03. Let me see if I can build it up a little more. Next we have nude 06, which is a mid-tone taupe nude. So there's nude 06. And from the deep nudes, we have nude 08, which is a warm brown nude. I think these shades are really beautiful. I, I love the range of nudes. And you know, her lipstick, she's always done that. Like she had the nudes, the pinks, the peaches, and then the reds. It was a cute little setup. I'm. I'm I can't even hate on it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her lip liners and then we'll get this stuff on. The lip liners are $22. It's a long wear, easily blendable matte lip pencil that defines and enhances the shape of the lips for a sculpted pout. Our velvety formula smooth glide allows for precise and controlled application, seamlessly depositing smudge resistant matte color without dragging or skipping. No one need no dragging or skipping. Infused with organic jojoba oil and squalene for nourishment and moisture this hydrating formula feels comfortable on the lips and helps smooth the appearance of fine lines the lightweight texture of this wood clenched pencil ensures a gentle application and easy blending and these are available in 15 shades from light to deep so first i'll show you shade 11 which is neutral mauve nude i was so happy when i saw these they look like the KKW Beauty ones and I'm mad because I took all my KK Beauty, uh, KKW Beauty stuff out and put it somewhere so I have, I have more liners. This was from like a little mini set. It's still the same style. KKW Beauty Skin by Kim has the color on the back. Uh, she has regular size pencils. I just don't know where I put them unfortunately. The second shade I purchased was New 14. This is a rich brown nude. So there's nude 11 and nude 14. And I'm not sure I was thinking these two would go together possibly. And then I could wear this with both. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll see what this rosy shade looks like with the deeper liner. But I don't think the liners are a must have, but I do think her uh, previous liners were, were really nice. The one thing I will say is I did declutter the lipsticks because they have kind of a crayon makeup-y smell and I tried so many lipsticks since then that like we don't have to put up with that you know so even though I thought the formula was great after a while I mean I held on to them but I really wasn't using them but I really did love the shades. I'm gonna start we're gonna go from the lightest shade to the deepest so we'll start with nude 03, which is the neutral pink nude. And then I'm going to be using the nude 11 liner. So like I said, it seemed a little deep, but we'll see what it looks like. And my lips are super ashy. I didn't want to have anything on them ahead of time. So sorry about that. They're super pale. So, so far, I mean, to me, they feel like the KKW Beauty lip liners. They don't seem different, but I mean, they're, they're good liners, but I don't know if they're like the best in my book anymore, you know, because I use my ColourPop. I mean, I use so many different liners. So, and I just use those Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats. Those were really nice, but mm, I like the color, but I don't know if the liner is necessary but let's see about this lipstick I'm trying to think because the lipsticks that i have from kkw beauty were more satiny i only had like 
one matte and I, I remember not really liking it. I like the finish of this matte a lot. Um, it doesn't have a cosmetic-y smell or anything like that. It doesn't really have any smell, which I'm fine with. It's not dry. I actually like this. Hmm. I am concerned with this particular shade about the line separating uh, my pigment from the lip shade, but I really like the shade a lot. And I don't think this pencil looks bad with it. Let me know your thoughts. This is new 03. Let me show you from afar. I like this. It looks super natural. They're not transfer proof or anything, but I can see them, you know, staying in place for a while. What them? I can see this shade staying in place for a while. All right, let me know your thoughts. I feel like her original matte lipstick, the one that I only have one, but I really feel like it was dry. This is a lot better. It's like um, pillowy, almost like, almost like a lip clay. It has that type of feel. Like, you know, the lip clays are from Kaleidos, if you've tried those. I love this shade though. This is an everyday shade for me. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna take this off and then we'll do the next liner and then the two deeper shades. All right, I'm back and we're gonna go ahead and put on Nude 14. So here is what Nude 14 looks like. And I'm kind of not nervous. I don't know how this is gonna look with Nude 6. I started to get the liner for Nude 6, but I was like, you know what, no, just chill out. You can, maybe if they have a sale or something, but NRN. So let's try this one. This is Nude 6. See, even though this is a warm brown, I probably should have tried this on without a liner too. Cause you see it's, it's warmer, but it is gonna still work with this liner, which is good to know. And you know, oftentimes when y'all see me do liner, the liner's the exact same shade as the lipstick. So this is new for me to wear like a deeper liner. So let's see how I like it. But I like the shade. I would love this shade without a liner as well. So this is nude six. I think I really like this. And I think I like it with this deeper liner. But without the liner, I feel like it'd be a totally different vibe. Let me know what you think. Look at it from afar. Mmm. -hmm. This is pretty. All right. Kim may have done a, another pretty good job with her collection. We'll see. I'm going to take this off and we're going to try on the nude eight shade and then I'm just gonna do a quick eye look. I'll give you my final thoughts before then um, if you can't stay. And then if you can, I'll show you the remaining products from my KKW Beauty collection and we'll just put together a little look real quick. So be right back. Y'all wait, I'm confused because now I'm confused about which shade I put on because I feel like that last shade was super warm. And I think that was the deepest shade. And I said it was the middle shade. I'm so annoyed. So I guess one of my critiques is like, I can barely see the shade. So now I'm just trying over here, trying to figure it out. I'm like, did I try? I don't know if I started with the middle shade now. I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the rosy shade. Did I bring my wipe with me? Yes, thank you. And now I got the wrong lip liner on with it, but you know what? At least we can see if it'll go with the brown. So that's the rose. Now I'm confused. Did I even ever try this on? Well, we're going to try it on now with the, <laughs> the brown for accuracy. I feel like I did try this one on, right? Well, maybe I... I can't tell, but I will say this light shade looks great with the the deep lipstick or lip liner. Shoot. Okay, I'm not even, y'all saw both liners, so now I'm just don't even care about the liner. Cause now I'm confused. This is nude six. This is the taupe one. 
So yeah, I don't know which one I didn't try on. Cause I think I tried that warm brown one last before I got confused. So nude six, the first one was nude three. And I like it without the liner as well. But I did I did like it with the deep liner. That was nice. Yeah, they're just these just aren't easily recognizable. So you know you gotta leave this type of information in. I need to like, okay. This one is nude eight. So I got three, six, eight. This is eight. So I either skip three or six because I I'm certain I tried this one on. Oh, I really like this shade. And I think this one is a bit, I know the deep liner I got, 14, said it was a warm, a rich brown, I think it was. It's a rich brown, but this is like a warm brown. It's a little uh, warmer than the rich brown liner. So I like this without. All right, well, I will say this. My major complaint is the packaging because I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass to see what shade this is. And the expiration uh, shelf time is on there as well. I can't see it and I, I don't really care to, but now I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna have to figure it out so I can label them and put them away. I, I really don't like that at all. The packaging, it like it doesn't feel, it's very slim and minimal. I don't know. I don't know if I consider this like a luxury feel. What I will say is I really like the, the lipstick. The lipstick feels luxury. It feels like, well, I have a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but the Dior mattes, but I know they have reformulated. So I'm talking about the old formula. It feels kind of like that, like that pillowy matte feel because these remind me a little bit of like my dior ones and i'm, I'm not gonna say lisa eldridge but I'm, i can't think of the feel of hers right now but definitely the, the dior ones the dior lipsticks are now going for like 49 dollars. lisa eldridge is 36 for kk or for skin by kim uh to be 32 I feel like that's average prices now. I know MAC lipsticks, I think they're still 25, which is great, but she's falling like in the middle, like not drugstore, not completely luxury, but she's falling into the mid high end of the uh, makeup world. So I don't know, I think that it's a fair price. We're seeing brands launching you know, super expensive palettes, $100 palettes, like off the, off the gate, you know, and we don't even know who they are. So the makeup prices are just what they are. They, they keep going up. And uh, I think this is pretty average actually. So that's how I feel about that. Do I think they're a must have? No, I think that if you have a matte formula that you like, just keep the matte formula that you like. I don't think they're a must try. I particularly like the feel of these and I like the colors. So if you're looking for a particular color of nude, I think that this brand is going to really cater to that. That's why I think her palette may do well, but I just didn't need the palette. But all of those nudes, like she's going to have that range that's going to be huge in this brand. So that's the only reason that I would recommend it over something else, just because I really like those nude shades. But then again, there's other brands that have great nude shades as well. So that's how I feel about the brand. So before we go, if you have time to spare, I'm just going to show you what's left of my um, KKW Beauty collection. I know I gave the camel palette to my sister. I don't know what she did with that one. And some of the other ones I just sold, had some little mini five pans, donated some things. One of the things that I have is this little eye contour that she came out with. And basically it's just a transition shade and a deep shade. And you can just do a quick eye look with that. And it just, 
gives you some color and helps you to look put together. I had misplaced this, but I found it and I was actually kind of happy because I was like, yes, this is like super cute. The other thing that I've done with this is I'll do transition smoke shade and then take like a Terra Moons or a Cleona shade, you know, just to give it something extra and spectacular. So this actually comes in handy. I mean, do we have palettes that have these shades? Yes. It's just in this little cute thing and it's small. I think I have the KKW Beauty and Winnie Harlow palette, but it's downstairs and I'm not going to be able to find it. But I think I still have that one. I really, really liked that palette. So this palette is one of two that she did with Mario. So I can't, this one's called the KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette. And everyone loved this. There was like this pop of blue. It's just neutral with a pop of blue. The KKW beauty palettes are magnetic and the pans, you know, you can remove them. So I'll show you what I did with one of my other ones, but I kept this one. I thought this one was a memorable one. Shelf life of 12 months and then the artist and muse palette was another neutral palette that she did with mario but this is one of my byops that i never dismantled i think it was like my go-to palette or something like that so i did like my six mattes and then some really like you know, cute shimmers like that i could just throw together for a look so i like to uh make my own little palettes uh, using her components. And the last palette I have is the Coco Matte palette. I got this like secondhand from Macari, and I actually took out two of the lightest mattes because they were super light. So this one is from Luxy, and this one, this is called Everything from Luxy, and this is Vanguard from Sydney Grace. And then all the rest of these are uh, the shades, the original shades from the palette. So that's that one. And I don't have any lip products. I told you that. And I have more liners, more lip liners. I had a little vault of these. Let's see what shades we have though. This is taupe wood. Oh, it's still super creamy. And this one is classic Kim. And I know she has something on her site. Like if you liked X from KKW Beauty, try Y from Skin by Kim. So those are the two shades. As you can see, I love these types of nudes. So I have a bunch of, of those shades. All right, I'm wearing Pat McGrath eyeshadow primer. And we're just gonna get into a look. You know, I really just wanna take the all matte palette, I'm thinking, or at least start with it. When they do have names, I don't know if I need to invert them or what. I want to start with what I believe to be honey. This isn't going to be anything fancy. I just want something to complement this lip, which I love it. It's giving me like a fall vibes. I like the feel of this lipstick. I really do. Of course, you know, I'll be back at the end of the month to talk about it once I wear it, you know, more. But yeah, I, really, I like the feel of it. And Kim's thing is lips, what seems like it. So. I just, I didn't think it was gonna like be a bad product. They blend out really nice. I'm not using a special brush. Like this is a really nice matte. I wanna go into Tawny, which is this one. I'm just gonna take a flatter brush. This is from Glam Light. I'm gonna just put it all over the lid. Y'all know I don't even do <laughs> all matte looks hardly ever. I want to practice. I don't know who I'm turning into. Like, I found a matte foundation I like. Like, what? Who is she? Now I look at some of my videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, you are so dewy. Oh my gosh, y'all see this eyelash? Just, okay, very cute. And then lastly, I want to go into the shade Bourbon. I mean, but I'm just saying, like, this is a nice palette. It really is. This looks so good. Mm, gonna go into that honey shade again for the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush for the inner corner, hoing hoing, and I'm gonna actually go into that Luxy Beauty shade right here, just for the inner corner highlight. 
I mean, that was so easy, y'all. Here's the look. Oh, blend this out a little more. Yeah, let me know what you think. I think this looks so good. I'll be back with liner and mascara and then we'll close this one out. All right, I'm back with the finished look. Ooh, I use a new liner today. I mean, I've just had it for a while, but this is the first time I'm using it. It's from Mel. It's the Slick Waterline Pencil in the shade Caramel. Yes, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you think. Can y'all see the Caramel liner? Like, it's like almost like my skin tone. Overall, I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with the relaunch of Skin by Kim. I am happy with the condition of my <laughs> KKW Beauty collection. Let me know what you think about the overall look and let me know if you picked up anything from the relaunch of Skin by Kim. Let me know. I'm definitely going to be looking to see what she's going to do. I'm going to try the samples. I think there was like an eye serum and something else. I'm definitely going to try it. I doubt I'll, you know, get into the skincare. But I'm here for the lipsticks and the makeup, especially on a sale. I'm here for that part of it. And I'm, I'm glad to see it back. I like the aesthetic and um, I love uh, just kind of the colors that she chooses because she's just like real basic and it looks super natural and I think it looks nice on a lot of different people actually a lot of different skin tones thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today I hope this was therapy for you it always is for me and until I see you again make sure you're being gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and I will see y'all in the next one bye oh,